Today, I'm going to show you how to photograph waterfalls. All you need is a camera, a tripod, and an ND filter. If you don't have an ND filter, all you need to do is go out towards dusk, where the light is dropping. To get the water clear and crisp, you need to shoot with a really high shutter speed. To shoot them really smooth and silky, you need a really slow shutter speed. I'm gonna show you how to do both. Basically, you're gonna set up your camera before putting the ND filter on. You're gonna get your composition. Once you find a composition you like, follow these steps. Switch to manual mode. Set the exposure. Set your focus. Switch to manual focus. Switch the self timer on or attach the shutter release. Attach the ND filter. Check on your ND chart to see what you need to change the shutter speed to to get the same exposure. Take a photograph. If you don't have an ND filter, it's easy to shoot it clean and crisp. When you want to smooth out the water, you can close your aperture down, but sometimes there's still too much light about, so you have to wait for the sun to set, so the light drops and it brings your shutter speed down. You can actually go through one of my videos earlier on shooting long exposures without an ND filter. It's linked in the top corner. This will take you through the process of shooting one hour before sunset, right through to one hour after sunset. Here are some examples of different shutter speeds where I've changed the aperture to maintain the exposure I want. Longer exposures tend to make the water look much more silky and smooth. Shorter exposures make it look a lot more crisp. Depending on what ND filter you have, you can go out in different times of the day. If you have a really strong ND, like a 10-stop ND filter, you can shoot waterfalls and make them smooth and silky in the middle of the day. If you have a three or a five-stop ND, you might have to close your aperture down, but you can still make the water a little bit smoother than normal. I tend to take with me a three, a four, and a 10-stop ND. This gives me the range to be able to shoot from the middle of the day right through to the blue hour. If you don't know what a stop of light is, click on the eye in the corner. This will take you to a video explaining this. I like something around about a second to a second and a half. Sometimes I'll take it longer, sometimes I'll take it shorter. There's lots of different factors from how much water is coming down the river to how much light there is about, and also which ND you're using. One other filter to get is a circular polarizer. What this will do is change any reflective surfaces. So any of the water in the foreground or any wet rocks, you can change how they look. So look how they change as I turn the circular polarizer. You can get these rocks looking very different just by the turn of this polarizer. One thing to be wary of is that the water is quite white, especially when there's a lot of water. Also, it'll be surrounded by lots of dark foliage, so make sure you don't overexpose the water. If you shoot mirrorless, get the zebras on and set them to 100. Then make sure the zebras don't show on the waterfall. If you're still shooting with a DSLR, make sure you turn your blinkies on. This is where when you preview your images, it'll show if you've overexposed your highlights. Search on YouTube if you don't know what the blinkies are. There are a lot of videos out there showing you how to turn these on. And that's about it. You may prefer the look of long exposures, or you might like that crisp look of really short shutter speeds. Whatever your preference, you can do it. Just follow along with this video, see which shutter speeds and apertures and whether you need an ND or not, and you'll be able to get the shot that you want. As always, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. And for weekly tutorials, hints and tips in photography, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll see you in the next one.